In this another video for Science, Technology, and Society, we're going to talk about Filipino presidents and their contributions in the development of science and technology in the Philippines. So we have already a lot of presidents, and um, this is the part where we are now having our post-colonial period, wherein we are, you know, totally independent okay, from colonial, uh, from colonies rather, from the, you know, the Spanish, the Pan Spaniards and the Americans. So we're going to talk about first under the, the presidency or the administration of Carlos P. Garcia. And then we're going to move on to President Ferdinand Marcos, then to President Corazon Aquino, President Fidel V. Ramos, President Joseph Estrada, and Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. So we're going to talk about their status, the status of science and technology during their administration. So I'm going to cut this into two parts. I'm going to talk first about the first three presidents here, and then the second one for a separate video. Okay, so let's start this, and we're going to talk about Carlos P. Garcia this time. So, President Carlos P. Garcia ruled from 1957 to 1961. This is his picture. And by the way, all these pictures are courtesy of um, philippine-history.org. Okay, so um, picture is not mine. Okay, let's make that clear. So under his presidency of uh, Carlos P. Garcia, there is actually a lot of support of experimental work on research, shall we say. There's also marginal budget for scientific research. And there are low, pretty much low salaries of scientists during that time, um, which is pretty bad, of course, for those who will who would want to become a scientist, mathematician, biologist, and such. And during his time, he established the National Science Development Board. So pretty much that is those those are the things that Carlos P. Garcia um enacted or the status during his time of science and technology. Let's move on to President Ferdinand Marcos. Um, during President Marcos' time, um, since we know that he he have he has he had ruled okay the Philippines for such a long time. Um, let's try not to talk about politics here. Okay, so um, let's just say that he ruled the Philippines for a long time. So, uh, pretty much he have a lot of loss or developments for science and technology so first he directed the department of education to revitalize the science courses in public high schools okay he also channeled additional funds to support projects in applied sciences and science education unlike the presidency of our president before he proclaimed 35 hectares in bikutan tagig rizal as the site of the philippine science community which is pretty much a big land for that scholarships for graduate and undergraduate science scholars and workshops on fisheries and oceanography so he's the one who who um, um push this push this up the scholarships also under his time under under his administration he aided the philippine coconut research institute to the nsdb also known as the national science development board to modernize the coconut industry he also supported for the promotion of science research and invention with a presidential degree number 49, series of 1972, also known as the Decree on Intellectual Property, thus the invention. He also enacted a law under presidential degree number 1003-A, series of 1976, to establish the National Academy of Science and Technology. Okay, so another slide for President Marcos, okay, he enacted a law on the completion of the National Agriculture and Life Sciences Research Complex at the University of the Philippines at Los Baños. So that's UPLB, okay, except that's under Executive Order Number 840, Series of 1982. He established the Mindanao and Visayas campuses of the Philippine Science High School to encourage careers in science and technology. And also, he established other research institutes like Pagasa, National Grains Authority, Philippine Council for Agricultural Research, Philippine National Oil Company, among others. So, pretty much, uh, President Ferdinand Marcos have done a lot in the development of science and technology in our country. So, uh, one thing that I can I can say that it's still functional now is Pagasa, right? So, let's move on. After Ferdinand Marcos, we have the next president. We have President Corazon Aquino. 
that's our picture there again picture not fine okay again it's from philippine-history.org so under president aquino's time the national science technology authority was replaced by the dost the department of science and technology science and technology's role in economic recovery and sustained economic growth was highlighted during her time he she also created the Presidential Task Force for Science and Technology, which came up with the first Science and Technology Master Plan, also known as STMP. And also, um, she established or enacted the Executive Order Number 128, abolished the Republic Act Number 3859, also known as the Philippine Investors Incentive Act. So what does that mean? So it gave assistance to Filipino investors through giving financial aid, patent application assistance, legal assistance, and to help investors market their products domestically and abroad. Also, he's the, one, he's the author of the Republic Act 6655 or 6655 or the Free Public Secondary Education Act of 1988 opened the doors to free education up until the secondary level. So if you're graduates of the pub, if you're a graduate of public high school, you should be grateful to President Aquino for that. Corazon Aquino, okay? Okay, and also, Science for the Masses program, which aimed at scientific and technological literacy among Filipinos, is also the one who wrote that, okay, or um, empowered that, okay? So that's it for this video. We have talked about the first three presidents here, President Garcia, President Marcos, and President um, Corazon Aquino. So we'll end this video now. Okay, and then we're going to talk about the other three precedents right after this. So um, please hold on, okay, and click the next button so that we can you could proceed to the next video. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much. See ya.